can you tell us about your piercings? Did you get them all or individually? I love them and I'm obsessed with your videos. Love you. So, these piercings are... I don't think I've ever done a video in depth about my piercings. I guess it'll be this one. So the story about my piercings is I've always had like the first piercing, this one. And then I went out with my friends and they got piercings and I forgot how it all went down but I was like, I want piercings too. So then I got like another one right here. So I got my second piercings, which is obviously where it stopped right here. And then I got two up here and the other one should have been here but then it started getting infected. So um, I had to take it out and then the, the hole just closed. So then I ended up only having one of these. But the first couple months that I had my piercings, okay, first of all, my parents were so against me having second piercings. They were like, no, you can't do it. And obviously the person that I am, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. So I went out with my friends and went to some like illegal place because most legal places you have to be 18 or older, but I think I was 16. And um, she just pierced it. It was like $5 per piercing. And then, uh, yeah, I got this piercing and I got those two piercings and my parents didn't see it until like four months later when we were on vacation and my dad saw it and he flipped a bitch and he kept telling me, take it out, take it out. And every time he told me to take it out, I was like, okay, okay. And he just never took it out, obviously. Or the times that he got really, really, really upset and told me to take it out, I just took him out and then I put the piercings in my pocket and when I was gone, like when I was dropped off at school, or when he was like gone from the house or when I went back upstairs, I just put them back on. It was like, yeah, very undermining. I was not the most obedient, but I also was not the most rebellious. Anyway, I decided that I wanted to get another piercing to like close up the gap. But with the experience of these two, because like this one got infected and it was really scary and annoying because it was like itchy and it smelled bad. So I decided, you know, what, I'm just going to do them one at a time until I fill up the gap. So then I started doing one at a time until I finally filled it up and it was so nice. I think I did it over a span of like eight or nine months or something. And then, so that was all filled up. And of course, my dad hates it. I think my dad's over. I think I think my mom's over it or she never really expressed like that she liked it or not but I know my dad hated it and I know he still does and every time he sees it and we're facetiming or like he sees me in person he's like just take those out like he got so mad at me he was like why are you mutilating your body and I was like it doesn't look like it but then if you look at the piercings from the back I don't know if you can see it from here maybe you just see my armpit but if you look at the piercings from the back it really does look really weird but from the front it's kind of cute it's funny because before I had these rhinestone earrings I always wore like big dangly earrings like very like that's the thing that I always got whenever we went shopping like Forever 21 like every time I went out I was like okay I need to get a new pair of earrings because they were only like two to five dollars but they were big and pretty and I just loved it and now that I have all these piercings I'm like I cannot be fucked to wear a big earring like I don't even want to change any of these like the only times I ever take these out is to clean it and to clean it I just take them out drop them in hydrogen peroxide let them like simmer in there for a little bit and then I clean my ear with like soap and stuff and then I put on tea tree oil before I put on the earrings back in and it helps with the smell so if any of you guys have like cartilage piercings like ear piercings and you don't know how to get rid of like the smell or, like it smells weird all the time whenever you touch it try doing the tea tree oil thing my latest piercing was um my nose obviously and my parents have not said anything about it like <laughs> it's so funny because one time i was talking to my mom on the phone and i was like mom did you notice anything different about me in the video because she told me she watched my video and then she was like she was like oh you got lighter because with filipinos it's like a thing to be light skinned i I don't know. I got sucked into the trap a long time ago. I was like, oh my gosh, I hate the sun. I only want to be white. But now I'm like, the sun feels so good. I don't even care about what color I am anymore. But my mom is like old, she's like old fashioned. And she's very into like the light skin because that is very symbolic of power, wealth, health. And it means that you didn't have to go outside and work in the rice fields all day, which is like, um, it's like a big pride thing for the Filipinos, but obviously over here, like no one fucking cares. So yeah, she's like, you got lighter? And I was like, no, that's not it. She goes, hmm, I don't know. Did you get your hair cut? And I was like, no, mom. And I feel like my piercings in my videos are pretty like, 
I'm sure you could see this. Like, someone please tell me if you think otherwise. Like, I, I feel it looks kind of obvious to me. But I was like, no, never mind, mom, because I wasn't going to be the one to tell her that I got a nose piercing, and I wasn't going to tell my dad either. <laughs> so, yeah, the only time that I've seen my dad was, like, on FaceTime, and we don't really FaceTime that often, so I'm not sure that he saw it. And plus, like, the reception in this area is bad for Wi-Fi and like FaceTime, so it's like always kind of blurry, so yeah. That is the story of my piercings. Do I plan to get any more? I'm not sure. Like the nose piercing was really the last one that I wanted. I never really wanted a belly button piercing because my belly button is an Audi and I don't think it would be that cute with a piercing. Yeah, I do want to change this to a ring though, so I'm not sure if I want to yet. But that being said, me being me, I, do tend to go back on my word or like change my mind a lot or like mm, I just feel like getting another nose piercing or I just feel like getting snake bites but I don't know it's not really in the books right now I basically have everything that I want on my face pierced right now but yeah that is my piercing story Baby.